Hello, and welcome to Hunt Lab. I'm A is Cool, and it looks like my stream is frozen. Um, I am not seeing anything move on my end, so you guys let me know. Nope, I think I think I got it figured out. All right, let's try this again. Welcome to Hunt Lab. I'm A is Cool. Tonight, we're going to be looking at... Uh, shotguns. Well, uh, it's specifically in slugs. Uh, I think I accidentally clicked my preview and it's pausing for some reason. So that one was on me. Um, before we jump into slugs quick, I've been playing a loadout that's been a lot of fun. Um, not good, fun. And so uh, as I investigate all this custom ammo stuff, I'm pushing myself to try new things. I traditionally don't like shotguns. Um, and so, as I've been looking into some of the shotgun ammos, it's been giving me a challenge to try something new. I've been playing with the Romero, and when we tested it in the shooting range the other day, um, the Dragon's Breath ammo ignited at 40 meters away. And so, I wanted to try and create more of a skirmisher loadout, where your goal isn't to do a one-shot with a shotgun, but it's to tag them at 40 meters, and then follow up either with another shotgun blast closer up, or with the um, two-shot uppercut, which I'm absolutely loving. I uh, give this load on a shot if you want to go nuts. I've been taking uh, two Hellfire Bombs and one Liquid Fire Bomb on it. Uh, and it's just a lot of fun. It's, you know, it's clearly probably not the best loadout, but it's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and a good pistol to pair it with, again, I said, is the PAX True Shot. And depending on how you want to play, the nice thing about fire is a lot of people, um, if they don't charge you, better players are probably going to charge you, depending on what level you're playing at. But um, ones that try and take cover, if you pair it with something that has FMJ, you can follow it up while they're trying to take cover. Um, the other alternative to that would be take something with bleed, so put the dum dum ammo on that. That way you're going to chip off the top chunk of health with the um, uh, Dragon Breath ammo. And then uh, you peg them with a the dum-dum so they have limited moments to bleed out before they die. But uh, you guys are here for custom ammo information. First of all, I've started the script for the deep dive. I'll move it fast enough so you can't actually see anything. Um, the incendiary section is almost done. Got a couple things I want to double check on here. More importantly, tonight uh, we are going to be looking at... Uh, shotgun stuff. We did slug stuff a little bit, but I wanted to take a little more time and think about some additional approaches that we might want to look at while we're doing this. Um, so as always, as we're doing the test, feel free to throw in questions or things that you want to see me um, testing. This time I do have an overlay, so we can go ahead and fill some notes out on there. You'll see on the top left of the stream, um, research for stream. Uh, and obviously today we are doing slugs. Uh, some of the things that I want to see is I want to finish filling out the section of the chart that's uh, the body shot. Uh, what range does each shotgun um, do for its effective range when you're uh, aiming at the chest for that one shot kill? Uh, most of them were two to three meters longer than their base form. Um, but when you look in the shop... An interesting thing. Let's go here. Uh, so the Romero Alamo has a effective range of 14 meters. When we switch to slugs, well, okay, I don't have slugs yet for my Alamo, um, but we're getting there. But uh, you'll notice that my uh, effective range jumps to 26. That is for a headshot. That is not for an upper torso shot. And if you're used to playing with shotguns, you're going to generally be in the habit of aiming for the upper torso. So I figure having that upper torso um, number will give people a more realistic expectation on the effective range of a shotgun for a shotgun's purpose. Um, uh, and then I think the other thing that's important to look at is uh, what's the penetration range on um, wood and metal? Uh, both for regular buckshot we should test and for slugs. That way we can get that difference um, going on too. Because that's the other reason I hear people say they should take slugs is it has better penetration and better range. So um, those are the things I'm looking at. Uh, I'm going to need to add some more columns. Um, 
as we go. And I think we're going to do the penetration stuff here as wood, metal, and we'll track them in one box. I don't know. I'll probably change my mind and fix it later. Delete this column for now. Uh, watch my, you know, spreadsheet foo. There, I'll clean that up while I'm loading. Uh, and so for starters... I'm going to hop in the training range with this. Uh, and we're actually going to take the terminus because that's harder to find. Oh, purchase failed because I have the jackal skin. I've been having a lot of purchases failing lately. Have you guys encountered that or is that just me? And um, then we'll take the hand cannon for easy comparison. Uh, someone in my comments had a great idea of bringing a Derringer. Purchase my skinned purchases are failing. There we go. They just don't want me to have cool stuff. Yeah, but I can swap it after I've purchased it. That's really weird. Um, and so that way I can clear dummies with my Derringer. And for good measure, we'll bring the other one. Uh, ammo boxes might be nice to have. Alright. Let's jump in. Alright, me too, with the failing purchases, I assume, Acid Lord. Um... It's a limit of five guns in Arsenal you can't buy when you have five or more. Oh, I see. So I have five or more, so I can't buy more, but I can move one of the ones that exist in my inventory. Okay. Got it. All right. Um, plugs, pen versus buckshot. Wood and metal. <laughs> All right, then clear that and we will jump in. All right, so I'm going to get some of the buckshot numbers first since I already have my terminus out because once I take custom ammo, I can't drop it. So, let's start off by looking at the penetration test. Mm. You know, and I wonder if we lose any damage on this either. That looks pretty good. I mean... Oh, Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Is that my gun's range, or is that the... Okay. So if I'm at 7 meters, and this is the shorty, I can do the one hit. And at 8, almost nothing hits. So I wonder if that is... Uh, the penetration issue, and something is just going through the cracks there. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Because now I'll shoot this guy at 8, well, even 9. And I'm clearly doing more damage. Shooting from the side isn't really fair, but... Yep, there I one hit at 8. So there seems to be All right. terminus, shorty, uh, and that was, you know, spreadsheets exist for a reason. I'm not going to be lazy with my spreadsheets. Hmm. Okay, 
Okay, so that cap was at uh, really seven meters. Because as soon as I got to eight, yep, as soon as I got to eight, I stopped doing damage. And over here, can we even make it through metal with buckshot? All right, there's someone behind me. Okay, so we're doing nothing to metal on a buckshot. Um, and then we will try the standard version. I didn't see the number on that. Okay. Nothing at 11, and I'm out of ammo. Um, so, I'm wondering if it's essentially... I wonder if it's tied to the fact that it's a long barrel shotgun, or if it's tied to the shotgun's effective range. <laughs> After hours of research and rigorous testing, I confirm that slug damage is, inver is inversely proportionate as to whether or not I'm the one shooting them. That, that is delightful. All right, that's at 11. Yep, there we're not getting through at 12. There we didn't get through. Yep, so it's right around, right around 11 we're getting through there. Um, that's interesting. And then... So, what does that tie down to... Uh, terminus effective range. Um, part in the ads. Effective range 12. Okay. And then what's the shorties range? I'll probably just record all this too. Uh, or not record, but write down. Uh, effective range eight. Okay, so I'm guessing that's what it's going to be, is that it's roughly going to be the same um, as the effective range. I'll do a few more to test, but I'm pretty sure uh, your shotgun penetration is only going to be out to its effective range. Um, and of course, buckshot doesn't go through metal. Thoroughly tested. Bam. Uh, now let's try slugs. I think pressing escape and hovering over your guns gives you its stats in games. Oh, you are my favorite person. Thank you, Overlord. That is great to know. <laughs> oh, that's Penny Shot. Cut and slugs. All right, that must be full. So, for those of you who are, oh, uh, I hope they add a garden of bonbon bon skins to the game soon. Bonbon skins? That one went over my head. Um, so those of you who do slugs, what are your favorite uh, slugs loadouts? I tend to avoid shotguns, so I haven't played with my uh, uh, slugs a whole lot. Uh, Acid Lord, curious uh, if half of the crosshairs will be on cover and the other half on target will have a difference, well, the shot will be. Uh, I, I think you're talking about, like, if we do something like this. Uh, I'm pretty sure it would, because they're individual pellets, but 
I would have to get a regular shotgun again. When I switch over back to a different shotgun, uh, remind me. Okay, first of all, can slugs go through metal? No. Right, am I in line? Yep. Slugs cannot go through metal. That is disappointing. Uh, and so... Interesting what they're going to do for um, wood penetration, then. If I'm out here... Okay. Okay. Wood penetration definitely went further. Watch me needlessly reload a hundred times. Dummy. I need a different dummy with wood nearby him. Do any of these guys? I think there's one that has a metal cover, but I need more distance between me and them. Yeah, that guy has metal, but I need wood. Oh, I'll just have to find a different angle on the same guy. S20. Yes, it still pens. Uh, <laughs> now I'm out of space. Oh, I suppose I could go up top. Let's try that. Let's do the past 25, though. I made it to 28 over here. I think that's worth. Okay. I have the uh, auto-activate button on, so I can actually pick up my throwing axes, but I always screw up doors and elevators with that. Yeah, and that's at... Oh. I mean, you're at a range where it's kind of pointless to be using a shotgun, but... Yeah, so it's basically going to keep shooting through wood at any range. Yep, and I'm going to go over here. Uh, and so... Code those green, because we're dealing with shotguns. And we have... Uh, it seems to be... Uh, I'll do 40 plus. And then... Nothing for metal. Uh, I wasn't testing my shorty, though, so let's try the shorty out to this range. Yeah. So if you're shooting through wood, slugs are going to make it through no matter what. I do wonder, though, I have a spot to test if I can make through multiple layers of wood over here. Go try that.
Well, there was one. We know we can get through one layer. You can get through two layers, but there was damage reduction there. Did you catch that? That only did 30. Yep. If I shoot at the same... Or was that... Maybe I killed it. That might have been why I only did 30. Nope. There's a meaningful damage reduction after your second layer of um, wood. <laughs> Medium <laughs> slugs, a a a.k.a. at the lowly price of 150 you can save up to $50 by not buying a secondary. <laughs> you know, that is one way to look at it. Yep. So you can shoot through one layer without penalty, but if you shoot through two layers, then you're going to have a penalty. Um... Mm. Uh, so in here, that would be... I don't... Uh, we'll see if that's consistent over a couple ones, and then we'll see. Uh, so now we need to see what is the Terminus's Slug's body shot range. Alright. Let's get more slugs, and what is the true kill range with slugs? Um... Isn't there a penalty for one layer if you're two meters from the one layer? Okay, that's an excellent question. There is an easy way for us to find out, thanks to this outhouse. Oh, nope, we killed him. That doesn't count. No, uh, I would say I was two meters there at least. I killed him. Doesn't count. Nope. I'm definitely more than two meters from there. I'm 12 meters from that, and I'm still not having a penalty. Uh, good question, though. All right. Let's see our one-click range. All right. Put your guesses out. So we have the Terminus and the Terminus Shorty. What's your slug kill range going to be? Our uh, normal effective range is 14. And our shorty is 10. I'm guessing it'll be 16 for the full length and 12 for the shorty. Um, so this should kill. That does not kill. That hit his shoulder, I think. But I can't aim. Nope. Oh, I'm shooting the shorty. I thought I was shooting the big one. Okay. I am less confused now. Okay, let's scoot closer. Alright, so I think 12 was what I thought the shorty was going to be. No, it's going to be just under 12, it looks like. And no matter what gun I take, I'm going to be reloading. But you get more shots with the important ammo this way. Nope. There it is. Uh, yeah, Overlord, I do know that, but with slugs, 
the effective range is according to the headshot. It's not according to the chest shot. And usually people are going to be aiming for chest shots, um, you know, in close to mid quarters when they're dealing with a shotgun. And so I figured that was going to be a useful number for people to know. Um, so like in this case, the effective range is 16 uh, for a headshot. But if you're doing it here, it's only 10, which is the same as the base effective range. Um, and so I'm going to do, let's see, so the shorty recorded at 10. I recorded that at 10. I'm marking things I haven't directly tested at 10. In this case, I'm trusting the um, in-store stats. And so I'm just going to mark that as 10 just to be aware of, hey, I wrote this down. It, it could be invalid. Um, yeah, and so in a lot of cases, slugs, in this case, it didn't increase the upper, or the effective range to the upper body. Uh, and so let's see, I think my guess was 16 for the full size. And no. Have been closer if I tried. There it is. Thirteen. Oh, oh, this is interesting. So for the terminus. You lose effective range with your slugs. The base is at 14. And the um, the slugs is killing at 13. Maybe at the edge of 14 I can make it happen? Nope. Can't do it at 14. So with the terminus, you're actually reducing your one-shot range to the body at least uh, with slugs. That's kind of cool. Well, I mean, not cool, but it's a cool discovery. I asked the Lord, oh, for the, um, let's see, in-game stats are deceptive, fair enough. So sad we can't see the stats for the Lamat shotgun barrel. Yeah, I know, I agree. Uh, and the drilling, they should add that. Um, yeah, they would have, well, apparently there's a UI change in the works. A medium as a terminus levering enjoyer, I always see regular buckshot as an absolute win. I entirely agree. I actually do um, lachette when I take the terminus. It's usually my secondary, uh, so I take the shorty with flechette, and I use it when I'm rushing down people to just keep aim punching them and bleeding them. Um, and, you know, obviously unless you're running into two people, it tends to have a level of effectiveness to it. All right, where is our spreadsheet? Um, so that's all we're doing for the Terminus tonight. Pull out the crown and king. I ran some numbers about slugs before. I didn't check the pen stats, though. So um, I want to uh, check out the penetration stats with that. And so if my theory is correct, this is going to go through at 12 or 13 is going to be the furthest range that I can penetrate the wood. There's 12, 10 damage. No. No. Yeah, a couple are making it through the little gap there, but for the most part, it's nothing hit there. 14 hit there, but that might have been, yeah, that killed him. Yep, there it is. Nothing to everything right at 10. And then I'd expect nothing going against metal. Oh. Expect nothing if I don't bring any ammo. Yeah. Oh, let's try the half crosshairs thing. Acid Lord, thanks for the reminder. Uh, so I'm going to need to be back. Ask 10. 
You drive a very specific test. Okay, so here, here we're right at 10, so that was about the, the mark. I did a full kill, and if I back up, yeah, I did 100, so half the pellets definitely got eaten. Yep. Um, so it's that, that range around 10 with the crowning king and the terminus, what was it, 11? Yep, 10 or 11. Uh, is where that's going to start getting eaten by the wood. You are very welcome. Thank you for the request. All right. I think that's all we had in store for the terminus tonight. Uh, nope, slugs. We need to check the slugs. <laughs> Jump. Oh, I should have swapped first. Oops. Uh, I'm guessing we're going to have the same results on this, where it doesn't really matter. Where we can't do anything here. Yep. Come down here. Bornheim stock with high velocity definitely proved itself as a good sidearm uh, to about any shy, side, any shotgun. Uh, something I noticed about the born the stock Bornheim, um, the two slot Bornheim, is that it actually does 80 damage a shot. So as long as you're within uh, the damage drop off tolerance, uh, you can kill with two shots on the Bornheim with the stock. I always avoided any form of Bornheim because I don't like the three hit to kill. Yep. And so... What was that? Was that 40? Close enough. 42. Alright, so 40 plus. And we'll double check this to see if this is consistent along guns. The extra uh, wood penetration. Oh! So this should do reduced damage. Yep, that appears to be the same. And we'll try one single pane at distance. Yep, that's probably going to be consistent. Alright, Crown and King, uh, Romero and Romero Hand Cannon. Are they both in here? <laughs> Someday I'll get real good. You know what? Someone made me a map. Let's look on my Discord. Find the map. I pinned it somewhere, I just don't remember. Let's see, Micro, I believe, was the one that shared it. For micro. It's in the hunt chat in the map. Yep. Um, is not. He has. Uh, he posted an updated one. I got to dig that out at some point. Uh, and that's the one that should be pinned. Oh, this might be a little more.
Uh, oh, there's a lot of guns in this game. They should just give you a... Um, They should just give you a selection menu. You know? That's less help than I was hoping it to be. Oh, Romero. All right, I guess we're doing something else. <laughs> uh, let's just do the Spectre and the Spectre Shorty. All right, we'll do regular ammo first. There. Spectre. Spectre Compact. They are not next to each other. I am a well-organized individual. I did the body shot with the specter. Nope, I didn't do anything with the specter. Okay. So starting with the shorty, should be 10 hit for the one hit kill. That only did. Oh, that was. Um. Oh, there it went. Yeah, so it's like nine ten. You know, I like that pick. Uh, I'm gonna put that up as a note so I include it. Guns are good beetle killers. I think I think we said nine. I know I gotta kill at nine. Yep, we're not killing at ten. So the store's a liar. That's nine there. It says fourteen. To clean 14 at this angle. Yes, I can. Am I aiming wrong, folks? Let me know if you feel I should be aiming higher or lower on the bodies. I'm trying to go for kind of the bottom of the upper chest. There we did it at 12. I got 149 at 13 meters. There, I got 150. So it is doable at 13, but it's reliable at 12. <laughs> Questionably reliable. Um.
Alright, I'm expecting... What did we say? It was around 10 meters for penetration on the wood for the other ones. Yep, there it is. Same thing. 21 damage. Yep, it's right around 10 that it stops working. Someone remind me not to drink Monster before bedtime. 6.45 a.m. and I haven't slept yet. You know... I'm glad you're here. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Hopefully the uh, rhythmic shooting can help lull you into a sleep. Alright, yep. So that's, that's 10 again uh, for penetration. Uh, and so that's probably going to be a consistent trend, and I might stop checking it at some point. Um, I'm not... Nothing for metal. I'll check out the shorty. Here, let me eject my only shell. Now, the other one gave up about seven. Let's test eight. Nope, not at eight. Seven, and that's going to be zero. I'm going to skip one of these, and someone's going to tell me, hey, this one's glitched, and it actually does penetrate metal. So, if you know that, let me know. Because there are a lot of exceptions to rules in this game. <laughs> um, I think we're good to go ahead and get some slugs now. For this, we need to confirm that we have nothing there. Get the ladder down here. I should send that ladder back down when I get up. Because I'm going to be making this loop a couple times. Oh, is it not going to go unless I hold it? That's horrible. There has got to be a better test place to test wood distances. Yeah. So, I'm just going to say, for slugs, we're always going to be penetrating. All these shotguns probably don't have slugs. I will be... Is there any shotgun that doesn't have slugs? Let's see. I know some of them are limited. Uh, and so we're actually just going to duplicate that down. What does base shotgun mean? Buckshot on the chest? Yes, that's buckshot. I can... Um, and I'm, I'm leaving it at its base because I have other guns on here too. And so uh, I suppose I could do standard ammo. That is more clear, but... Uh, I may or may not publish this spreadsheet. I'm definitely obviously sharing the results with the final video. Uh, it depends on how how much cleaning up I need to do to make it understandable. Right. 
Yeah, and so these are meters. Um, okay. Uh, so we have the Spectre done for slugs. Uh, we have, Actually, we have to do the body shot still. Uh, the body shit kill. Yep. And then we're good. Uh, we do down that in that section anyway. So let's grab some ammo. Climb down the mountain. And get to it. Okay, for comparison. The Spectre. So we have the Spectre and the Spectre Compact. Uh, the base shotgun was at 12. Uh, and the base um, was at 9 for the compact. So, let's start off with that, since we learned the Winfield was actually worse with slugs. I have the... That's a good sign. Ooh. Okay, there it is, 15. Uh, which is a substantial increase. I think that's the biggest window I've seen so far, uh, other than the Romero. Right. Um, this was nine on paper. Definitely go. Oh, he was already low. There we go. Alright. Yeah, so, Emperor, I'm testing the um, body shot range of slugs because in the store, slugs give an effective range, but they're talking about a headshot there, not a body range. But for um, buckshot, they're using um, the upper chest shot as your target. And so I want to get a true estimate of which guns are actually better with slugs uh, as far as a range perspective. The Spectre Bayonet is not in my spreadsheet because I'm expecting it to be the same as the um, Spectre. I, if you call me out on it, I'll test it. Um, what I found in, in some of my other testing when I was dealing with the high velocity stuff was that weapon attachments and scopes didn't affect uh, stats other than uh, sway, I think. Um, it's a shorter bear, Spectre Bayonet. Okay, well, then it might fall, fall, fall in line with the Spectre Combat. Happy to test it. Um, I'll grab everything I have in the range, and then I'll unload and load back in to try those uh, other cases. So, I'll put a note here. Test. Bayonet. Bayonetti? Bayonet? Whatever. Oh, there we go. How the attachments other guns and shotguns have? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I should read your first message. Two things. Spectre Bayonet is the only attachment that affects pellets and damage. I'm pretty sure it's going to have a different result. Uh, out of the attachments other guns and shotguns have. Also, could you retest the Terminus Long Barrel Buckshot? Getting consistent 12 and not 14? Yeah, I can grab that again. Um... I will need to load out. There's no way to ditch your custom ammo once you pick it up, so. Uh, you want me to retest the Terminus long buckshot? We'll put that red. I'm getting a consistent 12 and not a 14. Um, and if I hit one or twice on 14, I, I went with it. Um... I'm not doing 10 kills with each shot, so uh, the nature of buckshot is there may be some inconsistency there. But I will, um, I am happy to retest. Did we get everything we needed from that? 
I think I did, but I didn't record it. Uh, we were doing the compact. Vector compact body shot. Is that 12? So that's going to be 11. I looked through all the gun stats yesterday and it looked like there's rare instances where gun mods affect not only spray and spread. All right. Um, uh, do you remember any examples? Uh, they should add the ability to ditch your custom loadout uh, at the normal ammo boxes. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, in-game, I don't think it's a big deal. It's mainly just because I'm doing... Um, shooting range stuff. All right, let's dip out. Uh, I'll grab a fresh terminus and then uh, we'll load out and I'll grab a Romero because I still can't find it here. Um, oh, you know what? I need the drilling on this list too. That's not going to work. Uh, for instance, the Sniper Winfield M18 has a faster reload according to stats. Yes, it's but but um uh it wasn't affecting anything when you shot a bullet, like the muzzle velocity or the damage or the effective range, I believe. Um, so let's go look at that now. Um, you said the Winfield Sniper. Oops. So like here we're looking and we'll well we'll just equip the base model. Okay. Um so it's doing spray, it's doing spread, and it's doing reload speed. But the uh, actual damage and effective range isn't uh making a difference. There's something wrong with your testing. Romero can definitely one hit KO with buckshot further than twelve. Try aiming with crosshairs and not sights. Is this torso shots? You might be thinking headshot. Oh. I wonder if it's just spaghetti code or if it's intentional. Um, yeah, because I, I like I assumed the weapon stats between these two guns. It's supposed it's supposed to be the same gun, and so even in this case, you know, we have more recoil here, and then only melee stuff is affected uh, for the trauma. Uh, obviously, when you go shorty, it makes a difference. If we look at the Vetterly, your dead eye is only uh, adjusting your uh, hip fire spread or your yeah. Um, your the marksman is affecting your spray or your sway and your spread. The bayonet affects your sway and your melee damage, obviously. The silencer is a different gun, and the cyclone is a different gun. So scopes and weapon attachments, generally speaking, aren't going to be affecting the damage. But if you find one that affects, I guess, the velocity or the damage or the effective range, um, those would be the ones I'd be most interested in. In the Springfield, the 
only ones affected are the sway and the spread. Uh, Spectre Bayonet. Okay, I'm getting there. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Someone wanted the Terminus tested and the Spectre Bayonet. We'll have to do two different loads of, oh, for that. Okay. And we're not taking shells on it. And... I guess we'll go in with that and plan on jumping back out. Uh, if anyone's able to find that updated map of the shooting range in my uh, hunt chat discord, let me know. Uh, uh, reply to it and tag me, please. I'm scrolling back on it some, but I'm not... Uh, actually, I think it was in, oh, there it is, um, Micro recreated it and he shared it in the, uh, in the infographics and links section. Uh, so, a big win for Micro. Look at that, that's so much better. Alright, um, but I'm not seeing... The Romero in here. Yeah, I don't see the Romero in here. That's interesting. Okay, that's why I couldn't find it. Um, props to Micro on that. Don in the lab, always. Uh, what do I have? I have the Spectre Bayonet. Okay, we have the Spectre Bayonet. And you want to see if that varied from the regular. Oh, we're not swapping ammo yet. Our regular numbers for the Spectre Bayonet uh, are... Or, sorry, the regular Spectre. So, a t kill at 12... Then standard pen. Let's test the pen since we're here. This won't kill. Oh, ooh, we went through at 11. Mmm, yum. I love consistency. Oh, there it was. Now it's not working at 11. All right. Okay, well. 10-ish. Uh, so that's... Oh. Sorry. I'm spelling will always be a problem. Uh, I have accepted that about myself. That went through at 11. I'm guessing 10 and 11 is where most long barrel are going to be. Uh, and for the kill. Ammo might help. It was not a kill at 13. Yeah, and that's saying it's a kill at 14. Um, so don't trust door stats, I guess. I don't know. They're usually fine. It's probably possible to get a kill, but it's not going to be consistent there. I have too many buttons on my mouse. I have a, a 12 panel buttons, 12 side buttons on my mouse, and I think there are too many and I don't make effective use of them. Um, I can swap off the panel, which is the most ridiculous but cool thing ever. So I think I'm gonna go down to like a seven, because um, that way I might use all of them. I don't know. Maybe I just need to get used, used to actually using the buttons on my keyboard to hot switch to items. at 11. Did 
Very hit a 12. I'm most in the ammo. Oh, thought I reloaded on that one. Maybe I've been aiming a little high on my shotguns, but... Oh. Let me give me 13? Nope. Still a fail at 13. Uh, idea. What if we, if we only want to test only damage drop and not the shot pattern, we can find a target bigger than a human dummy, say a meathead. After player's death, uh, he can see his damage output and output in damage to the right. Could be, that would be a, I, I would not be able to test as many guns nearly extensively if I had to jump through those hoops. Um. Oh, yeah, that failed at 12. Get ammo. Hey. I will never get tired of the reload animation. Yeah, so 12 is going to be your limit for Spectre. Uh, bayonet, which is the same as Spectre. Um, I'm gonna copy over those other ones because they've been consistent elsewhere. And then I'll confirm the slugs with this, and then we can swap out and get the Romeros or the Terminus. I had a request for the Terminus again. Actually, there might be a Terminus in here. The other one was 15. I'm going to go on flat ground. I'm creeping down the stairs. That might be screwing with it too. <clears throat> What happened with the... Did I accidentally get a headshot when I did the other... Either that or... it would be a difference in the gun. Okay, upper chest. That's the first kill spot, and that's 13. Specter our buckshot were the same. Oh, custom ammo have different sound effects on the receiving end. You can hear someone is shooting with a shot on. Uh, you're probably right there. You're probably right there. <laughs> there is just so much little detail in this game. These rabbit holes go deep. I was hoping to fit all the custom ammo stuff into one video, but, I mean, if I'm spending three months researching this, 
It might make more sense to split it up between rifles and shotguns and other weapons. Um, okay, so we're retrying the slugs to the body at 15. Oh my goodness! Okay, so the Spectre Bayonet is less... Um, wow, the Spectre Bayonet is less effective with slugs than the regular Spectre. That is fascinating. Let's compare their stats real quick. Obviously, I can't hold them both at the time, but... All right, so it does 120. Oh, it does 190. That makes sense. Okay. So they do have different damage stats. Uh, that says 165. And that says 179. Okay, that makes more sense. So they are actual... Oh, because you were saying it's a different length. Tooled with a sharp bayonet counter... Action with a medium barrel. Shotgun with a long barrel. There it is. Medium, short, and long. Good catch on that. Very good catch on that. So that is technically a different barrel length. I didn't realize that. Um, but with Buckshot, it was roughly the same. And with um, Flogs, it is definitively worse. There's probably a an consistency factor with the Buckshot, too. Again, because this is doing 120 damage. And the Spectre Bayonet does 190 damage. Yeah, so I, I would imagine there'd be a consistency thing with range. I never realized the uh, Bayonet was shorter. They should make the Spectre Bayonet the same as the normal Spectre. Or make it more clear. Um, like, that's something that I noticed with a number of weapons. They have differences. And if you read the description, you can tell the differences. But there's no... Nothing outside of that to indicate it. I think a great example is the difference between a single and a double action pistol. Um, uh, let's see. And it appears that star shell ammo have the same gunshot sound as a flare gun. No other melee attachments change the base damage. Emperor, thank you very, very, very much for that observation. And thank you very much for doing the double check on the other weapons. So I don't have to. All right. Um, uh, I need to check some stuff with the slate. Which is right here. Mostly just the penetration, which should be right around 10. Test 11. Did not go through. Did not go through. Went through. That is right at 10. Um, yeah, no, I still want to swap out for a Terminus. I just had a slate handy. Um, I can retest this with the Terminus. Or, er, yeah. Okay. Trying to avoid going to the loading screen as many times as possible. I need to get music. I feel that would unquestionably raise the quality of the experience for everyone, myself included. So maybe I'll look into that in the next week or so. All right. Um, Terminus and. And we'll come back for the Romero's later. Uh, Acid Lord, which ones affect velocity? You're right, because I, I think that has to do with the barrel length, though, depending on the modification, because, uh, what we just discovered with the, um, Spectre is that the Spectre Bayonet is technically a, oh, I'm on my skin, 
Spectre Bayonet is technically a medium barrel, whereas the base is a long barrel. And so that's technically due to barrel length, not due to uh, the melee. Okay, check out the Talon Romero. I love Talons. Talons are fun. Has a long barrel. I'm going to skin again. Okay, it has... Why in the world does it have... First of all, it's a shotgun, so velocity doesn't really matter. And secondly, why in the world does it have... 25 more velocity than the base. That is really weird. Good catch on that, though. Yeah, that's like, it's so minor, and it's on a shotgun, so it's never really going to affect anything uh, at the ranges you're using a shotgun. Um, but you're right, <laughs> you got me. And technically correct is the best kind of correct. <laughs> All right, Get back in and check the terminus. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks for coming along this journey. This is so much better than doing this alone in the dark. <laughs> God, and the amount of game knowledge some of you guys have. Little tidbits. I suppose it's the power of the collective. Uh, Lucian Lobo can confirm, at least on the standard Lamat star shell, uh, which is the only one I've tested so far. Oh, as far as the uh, sound. All right. So why am I standing on a nitro? I am perpetually standing on a nitro. There we go. All right. So you wanted me... All right, so I said 14, and you were saying 16, was it? Well, there I didn't do anything. Possible I keyed it in wrong, because I'm not, I'm not even getting close to one hit out here. Yeah, 13 isn't even close. Medium, that is an excellent change on the drilling. I approve. Drilling's a lot of fun to use. Uh, 12 consistently, but I did get 12. So. I must have just typed it in wrong. Uh, missed by two damage. Yep, there we go. Can you... Actually, I never bothered to check with the... Um, can you reload as you cycle around that gun? Yes, you can. I didn't realize. I knew you could do it with rifles, but you can do it with the Terminus. I love... Here, let's shoot two more rounds. Or two more rounds. I like the animation. On the second to last shell he puts in, he does a little push down. Okay, watch the second to last shell. This one. There, he taps it down right before he puts the last one into the barrel. That's, I love the gun animations in this. It is a beautiful thing. All right, so you caught me on that one. Good catch. That to 12. Reset it. Um, and drillings over here. The short drilling. 
in the field. I mean, I gotta bring in a drilling. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I don't see a full-size drilling here. Possible it's out this way. Oh, I gotta uh, check the upper mat. You can't do the reload trick when levering the terminus, only with aim down sights. You can do it with hip firing, but not without levering. Let me, let me, let me double check that one. Oh, the nuances of the game. That would make sense though, because with levering, you're cycling rounds so fast. Uh, levering would probably be out by the rifles. Oh, it's right here. Okay, let's try this. Yep, you're right. Can't do it with levering. Um. Yep, yep, no matter how I do it. Good catch on that one. I will make a note of that. Uh... Okay, let's go get the Romero. Neat detail. Silencers can visually overheat. The, um, yeah, there are some things that I need to see from a third person perspective, um, or I need someone to shoot. So, like, when I go into poison, uh, damage and ammo, I'm gonna need to figure out what thresholds of what weapons, uh, poison you. And so I'm gonna have to drag someone in here with me for those. But that is not tonight's problem. Let's bring in the Romeros. No meaningful stat change from the hatchet. Oh, meaningful. Uh, where is the Alamo? Is that... Rate of fire. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, and here I don't need to cheat. I can do... No, I can't take slugs. I don't have slugs. I need to get my unlocks. You can see the overheat in first person. It's more sound than visual. Interesting. Um, and, like, I know incendiary and high velocity are supposed to give off a bigger flash when you shoot from a silence, too. And high velocity doesn't break the sound barrier, despite it going well over the sound barrier on silencers. I'm insulted by that. And I'm going to mention it every time it comes up. For all the attention to detail they do in this game, which I'm flabbergasted by, and I absolutely love their attention to, you know, somewhat imitating the real world. The fact that bullets can break the sound barrier and still be silenced makes me sad. Now, there's, there's less of the explosion sound, but the sound barrier sound should still be there, so I think... High velocity silenced ammo should be louder than um, other silenced ammo. I am testing my numbers on the Romero. Sorry, I got on a little bit of a rabbit trail there. Uh, here and here. Uh, specifically for my wood penetration. Yeah, so all guns are going to be right about that 10-11 range. Alright, 
Romero. Draw guns that are not subsonic. Uh, yes. Yep. I mean, but that that's the thing, though, is I, it, it's especially egregious when a silenced weapon that is not subsonic sounds like a silenced weapon that is subsonic. Um, and subsonic ammo in the real world is a cool and scary thing. And I, I learned a little bit about it when I was doing my velocity video. I had a whole like minute long segment that I was going to plan and do on it, but it just, it took, it, it was, um, too far off the point. Uh, this was at 10. And the hand cannon, I'm guessing, is going to be at 7. That should go through. That should not, yep. So that's consistency. And for good measure. All right, let's go get a drilling. Uh, I know there's a drilling in here somewhere. I'll look up top and then there's no reason it would be up top. If anything, it'd be out by the rifles. The real question is, how can a slower... Yeah. There's my drilling. Oh, I'm so happy. Um, the real question is how a slower bullet from a silencer can do the same damage as the base model. You know... I'm going to try real hard not to use the it's a video game excuse, because I get it. Um... Or even, like, like the Dolch with the stock on it. Why, or not the Dolch, the um, Bornheim with the stock on it. Why does that do more damage? Because it has a stock. Like, yeah. Um, video game balance, I guess. All right. So, let's check our penetration range. Longer barrel. Oh, does it actually have a longer barrel, though? I thought it was just supposed to be a modified Bornheim. Same. Yep. It's going to be 10. Drilling. The shorty, it's not going to do it at 8. And of course it does it at 8. <laughs> oh, the jank is strong. Oh, it doesn't do it at 9, though. Okay, so 8 must be the limit. Must have just been right on the edge of eight. Yeah, that's so far in the edge. I'm just gonna put it at seven. It's here. I'm right on the edge of eight, and if I take half a step back, then it's not gonna go through. Yeah. So it's on the borderline between eight and seven. Uh, with seven being consistent. Uh, one hit kill range. For candy, it says 14 in the store for Romero and Spectre. Yeah, and like, what's their intent with some of those store numbers? Especially with Buckshot, which is supposed to be, um, or I mean, naturally has a, a little bit of RNG to it. So we are doing... This has... Oh, they don't even have a number for us. Oh, let's go discover a number. Let's go on a journey. I'm guessing this will be 12, which will...
drilling. 12 with buckshot. Let's do... That's probably going to be 9. 12 and 9, like... These are all consistent ranges, and I test, I've test i tested all these except for the orange ones here. Oh, it was a 10. So it's right around 10. I think I got a lucky shot. Yeah, it's got to be right at the edge of 10. Uh, we now have different skins for throwing axes. Some can be easier to see after thrown than others. Can be useful retrieving. I mean... I bring throwing axes every time, and I intentionally grab ones that are easy to lose because I like how they look. So, I don't know. I don't. I don't um, pay too much attention to that. Okay, yep. So this was at the edge of 10 and 9. So from right at 10, this should kill. No. Nope. Okay, that's consistent at 9. We'll count it at 9. Um... But, but they're definitely rounding up, that's for sure. Legendary arrows would be cool. Although I'd hate for them to be a separate skin than the bow themselves. Uh, let's see, are we ready to switch to slugs? Yeah, I'm not. You know what? I don't trust the drilling. We're going to test it against metal, just because it's the drill. And they want to give the gun everything. <laughs> ideas. Why? We all know people are paid for it. Yeah. Okay. Let's convert to slugs. Neat using the Derringer to reset the dummies. Thanks. Wasn't my idea. Um. Oh, no. Lord Razor, you're the one that left the comment on it. So, uh, Varric, drilling explosive ammo win. Oh, when are they going to give it to us? Uh, I don't think they'll give the drilling explosive ammo. Or, well, okay. Every gun's getting every ammo eventually, apparently. But, um... But I don't want them to give it to it. All right. So looking at our spreadsheet. Interesting. The slug range varies so much. But it's probably based more upon the gun's damage. Um, whereas these are all pretty consistently 12 and 9. I bet you if I tested the Terminus Shorty again and the Crowning King, they would come out closer to 12 and 9 for consistency's sake. All right. Let's see. So with slugs, probably coming in at 15. They tend to like the drilling. Oh, well, when he's half dead, then yeah. Of course. Can it give me a 16? No, it can't. Okay. So it's definitely at 15. And then the shorty, 9 by default, uh, is probably going to be right about 11. This should be a kill. Oh, yes, because he was at health. to 
reset with the Derringer. <laughs> Lord Razor, I've been using the, the Derringer consistently all night, and now that you're here, I'm forgetting about it entirely. So, um, out of ammo anyway. I got it. I said 50, but I thought I just reset him. Maybe I'm just running out of steam. Yeah, need a half a footstep forward. That's the dumb thing. If you ever do 49, you know, 149 damage with a slug, you know you were one step off. All right, there we go. Right at 11. That shouldn't take that many tries. All right, anything? All right, guys, can I close the book on shotgun and slugs? Is there anything else you want me to look at for shotgun and slugs? Any edge cases you can think of? Any comparisons? Any penetration tests? Um, Uh, this is going to be the last opportunity. I mean, I can always come back. Oh, I need to do Lamat stuff. Turn it. Um, can I color this green as a reminder? Hey, the Lamat exists. Oh, that counts. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What people say about bad Christmas presents. Alright, let's see. We want Lamat. Carbine. Oh, I should put the carbine on here. Nope, carbine's there. Where's the pistol? Pistol. All right, we're going to do the Lamats, and then over here is the upper mat. I have the appropriate skill set to hold them both. Get on shotgun mode and shotgun mode. Fun thing with this, so I tested this the other day uh, with the carbine. And so it has a kill range of about 19. But watch the scope. Or not 19, 9. Um, watch the scope on this when I shoot. There's no gun attached to the scope when the recoil hits. Yeah, yep, so that's... That's accurate. Now we'll do the upper mat. Oh. Acid, you are more than welcome to digress. I will make it back to my subject <laughs> eventually. Um. Ooh. Did 44 damage. I really thought I'd do better. <laughs> Aaron Drew didn't even kill it. Another neat point, the Berserker trait increases damage retrieved from arrows and axes and such. That's kind of fun. Mm. I mean, Lamas, you basically gotta put them in people's stomachs for them to work. Five. No way we're doing a six. Hey, we did a six. Okay. Six it is. Uh, let's 
check the wood penetration test, which might actually be different with these. Because it's an unusual barrel. Let's assume this is like a shorty. Well, actually, we'll assume it's a regular. Didn't they say it's equivalent to a, a Romero for range now? Maybe I misheard that. Definitely didn't go through that. I shouldn't aim down sights when I do that. Maybe that other one did pierce, and I couldn't see because the scope was in the way. I mean, 11's not... Yeah. No, I know this isn't a slug. I want to get the buckshot range. Yep. Right around 10 like everything else. Um, I will do the slug too, but I'm expecting it to have... Uh, the range to not matter on it. This should be right around... Won't go at 8. That's my guess. Okay, did not go through there. It might go at 7, but they might push it up to 5. Oh, at 7. Uh, so that went through there at 7. And now I can switch to slugs. Unless for some reason, because this is long ammo, you could see there being a coding problem where this goes. Wait, or is this slug? No, this is base. Okay, yep. I would have been mad if that would have gone through, but I would have assumed it. Because it has long ammo on the other half. Uh, switch to slugs. Oh, that's right. Guns can't hold much ammo because it's a secondary. Alright, so slugs. Nothing does six range before. So let's try like eight. Ten. Oh! Big difference with the slugs for the Lamat. didn't see the number, but it's oh, two. Okay. So it was one. Interesting how good shotguns are as anti-material tasks. How many shots would it take to destroy, let's say, a doy? Are any... Oh, are slugs any... Excellent question. Someone should test that. <laughs> no. Kidding. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be 10 for the Lamat uh, with slugs. Uh, not sure how many know this, but swapping ammo types is fastest when you do it when the gun is empty. That's cool. There we go. Yep, that's 10 for sure. 13 for the rifle. Now we just got to check the regular. Oh, we're going to put zeros there. I'll check the range on these through wood just to be sure, but I'm not too worried about it. I feel like they're not going to behave the same as other guns. Yep, that's regular damage. Yep, that behaves like other slugs. And we can climb up here. Maybe this is the pathing I should have been using from the beginning. Well, does this compound have any doors I might be able to use? Don't fall. Okay. 
And that is a piano. Yes, red ones. Okay. I wasn't sure if doors existed in this version of the map. Alright, let's snipe slug through the wood. Of course, that hit. Okay, yeah, that behaves like everything else, so. Uh, now I need to find the base Lamat. Oh no, the mat's up here, I think. There it is. Thanks, Will Eddie. Appreciate the call out. Should go through here, is my guess. Yep. It will not go through here. It did go through there. Maybe I was right on the edge. Goes through at nine. Yeah, no, it's the same as the other guys. I must have been right on the edge of eight. Uh, so that's gonna be a seven, like everybody else. Well, every other short barrel. And then let's go find the kill range for this. Oh, I'm glad to see you use my advice. I'm off. Good luck. Set him on fire. <laughs> Enjoy the dragon's breath. So the... The six there. Enjoy the meme. It's fun. Yeah, so the shotgun on the regular Lamat versus the upper mat is actually the same. Uh, I'm guessing. Because this was just at 6 too. And the slugs. Yep. So the upper mat changes the uppercut. Gives you the long ammo, but it doesn't actually give you anything for um, improving the shotgun. Alright. And slugs are absolutely worth it if you're taking a Lamat. I mean, that's a. That, that's almost doubling your range. Good luck. You never say that before a fight. You say good hunting. Good hunting. Alright. Um. Any shotguns that I'm missing? I think that's everything oh, for this category. Uh. Oh. Nope. Literally right in front of me. Oh, hey, there's the normal Lamat. Adwell Rival. Alright. Oh. Well. I would love to test the rival out tonight, but, oh, would be in poor showing not to just check slugs that are the same. Uh, I did check them, didn't I? Did I skip it? Oh, okay. I thought I did, sorry. I'm I'm running out of steam for the night, sorry. Uh why did I mark that in? Oh, I checked that the other day. That's why that oops. 
Um, that's why that one was already filled in. Uh, so the way my spreadsheet works is anything in orange I haven't actually tested. Anything that's white or colored in this case, that just a reminder that these are shotgun, is stuff that I've actually tested. And so I did do uh, slugs the other day, but I will retest since you're asking. Lamat uppercut is the same as the compact for the shotgun end of it. Yes. This will kill at 10. And it shouldn't kill at least partway through 11. Oh, great. I'm dead. The fade off in 11. And might be reliable. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. So, I'm at 11. It's not killing. So it is in 10. Uh, C454D? Absolutely. Um, always feel free to call me out if you feel like I'm missing something. So, um, but uh, thank you, everyone, for coming in tonight. Uh, I've added the rival to my list, so I will be sure to do those. But tonight is not the night. I was going to stream for an hour, but I stuck around for two. So, um... I won't say good luck. I have to say happy hunting. Uh, keep an uh, eye out for the next stream. Uh, my left schedule doesn't allow me to uh, set a regular schedule yet. Might come someday. We'll see. Um, but I absolutely love hanging with you guys. I love it when you call me out. And I love it when you point out things that I had no clue existed. Like the Spectre Bayonet actually being a medium barrel shotgun as opposed to a long barrel shotgun. I'll quit rambling. Thank you for coming to stream. And have a fantastic night. See everyone.